So welcome to this video where I want to show you a place. And this is the place where I am. Just walked here. It has gone a bit warmer. It's, um, I guess, something minus 15 or so. And it started to snow. Um, what I want to show you is this place. I found this on the walk now. I, I mean, it's not a new place to me, but I just walked by here. And this is a place where wood is brought. It's quite near the river. So trucks bring wood here from logging, uh, logging operations. The logs are stored here and then they are put in the river to be transported down the river and to other places to be processed into pulp um, to make paper, cardboard, a lot of cardboard packaging material. Um, yeah, a lot of mail order requires or, or online shopping requires packaging material. So uh, I think the main bulk of this will go into packaging. Um, and then there's like some wood, I guess, used for construction, but I don't think that much of that one here. So, and this place eventually made me think about the school system. And I'm like looking at this place and when you come here in the summer, like this empties about, I don't know how many times a year it empties, at least once a year it's completely empty. Uh, and then in the winter when the river is frozen, this is filling up again here. And the smell in the summer is wonderful, like the fresh cut, fresh timber, like a um, lot of pines. They, they, it just smells so good. And even though there is this good smell, I have like a very hard time being here because to me, seeing this place, what I associate is all the suffering that is connected to this place. like all the habitat loss, all the loss of soil, um, all the emissions that come from this. And it's a huge operation, like even though they use the river, it's still using a lot of fossils to process and transport. And so it's not a CO2 neutral resource, really, if you consider the transport connected to it. Um, so it needs to compensate quite a lot. So, and what I find interesting is like, I'm, I'm asking like, myself why do we need this right why do we need this and i see in my own life that actually i don't need that so um i could i could get by really well without this like and i'm wondering like what packaging material i use yeah it's if i buy oats to make porridge or some cardboard boxes and yeah, that's something to work on to get also zero packaging, um, which is possible, people do it. So anyhow, this question like, what do we need? Or why do we need this? Why do I need this? And, and I'm wondering like, why didn't I learn this question in, in the school, right? This, why is this question not given on, on my way of life um, in the school? like? Or are the parents responsible for this, right? Um, what do I need? And, and how can I fulfill my needs with the least impact or the most benefit for everyone, including humans? And I mean, I, I'm wondering like how many, how many forests, so-called forests, I mean, this is forestry land mostly, but it, it, still there is also old wood in there. Right, there's like old trees in there. And then, and then you know, when you have seen places with lots of old forest, and you think like, oh, what a wonderful place, I want to come back here. And then you think like, yeah, it's, why is it a rare place, right? And then you don't dare to go back there because many times you have come back to places and they have had been taken down, logged, desert. So, yeah, a lot of suffering in this place. So, like, what is it that drives us to be okay with this? Is it that we don't see the suffering? Or is it that we don't see the benefits of changing, right? Is the pushing not strong enough or the pulling not strong enough? And I, and I think the benefits, like, when I now think about, like, living in the yurt for the second winter and we had now had temperature of, of minus 25 and it was just pleasant inside. It was totally possible and doable. And like, I feel no loss in lifetime, uh, life quality, like uh, opposite, right? So, 
So the question in the school system, like, what do we need really to survive? And, and how can we get this covered with the least impact and the most benefit? And then why don't we do this? Why, why don't we even have a focus on questions, right, in our education? Like questions as guidelines through life, instead of laws and rules and advertisement and, yeah, I don't know, lifestyles shown by our elders or parents or society that don't make sense, that don't work, that consume the planet away. Yeah, so this is the place here, now walking back home and ah. beautiful by the way, really nice, The everything white, everything covered, um, lots of nice tracking, right? Okay, hey Dodo.